Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a quick look at the BIOS options on this, which is the Dell Inspiron 14-inch 7415 2-in-1 convertible laptop with the AMD Ryzen 5000 series of APUs. And we're going to start by just pressing the power button and then pressing F2 repeatedly to get the setup option. If we press F12, that would take us to the boot menu. And we can see in here, so on the main page, the only options we have to change are the time and date. But it does give us some information on BIOS version, the model of the laptop, service tag, what processor, clock speeds, uh, memory configuration and SSD we have. We also see here we get a report of the AC adapter type in use. And if we connect up my 60 watt anchor power supply we can see it correctly identifies that as 60 watt and the genuine Dell charger as 65. Looking at the advanced tab and we have options for virtualization, USB emulation, the SATA mode, which really doesn't matter because it has an NVMe type SSD. We can switch the function keys between acting as function keys by default and using the FN key for the multimedia key options or reversing that uh, to the standard setting of multimedia first. We can also adjust the backlight illumination for the keyboard and change for how long that backlight illumination stays on, both on mains and battery power. We get information on the battery health, which because this is a new uh, system is of course good. We can also disable the webcam and we can change the battery charging configuration, although this can also be changed in Windows as well. One thing which I will be changing here is power on lid open. And that was really quite a frustrating option for me uh, because I've taken the back off this laptop and when I opened it up every time it would switch on, which was just a pain. Um, we have some maintenance options including the ability to wipe the drive, uh, BIOS recovery from hard drive is enabled and BIOS auto recovery disabled, and there are some support assist options as well. Going into security, we can set asset tags and passwords. We can commit, permit changing of the password. I don't know what this absolute option is, but there is, it is disabled by default. We have the firmware trusted protection module, which we can enable or disable. And we have the various other bits. And then we can go into secure boot, which we could disable. And presumably if that can be disabled, then so I don't see any options for legacy boot. So it doesn't look as though disabling that allows anything other than uh, booting from non-secure boot devices. So for example, I use Ventoy for booting some ISOs. So it allow for that, but it doesn't look like there is a legacy mode option. Otherwise we have some boot options for UEFI and then just the options to save BIOS settings and or discard them or load optimal defaults. So I hope this has just been a useful quick look. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions, let me know in the comments below. Like if you found this video useful and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos on this laptop as I post them. Thanks for watching.